Appalling Archive. Perry Smith and Richard Hickick. The Clutter Family Murders. In the early morning hours of November 15, 1959, just outside the small farming community of Holcomb, Kansas, two ex-convicts entered the clutter home through an unlocked door while the family slept. Perry Smith and Richard Hickick were told that the clutter family kept large amounts of cash in a safe and wanted to steal it. They murdered all four members of the Clutter family, Herb Clutter, his wife, Bonnie, and their two children Nancy and Kenyon. Nancy was 16 years old and a junior in high school. Kenyon was 15 years old and a sophomore. After murdering the family, Smith and Hickok fled the crime scene, taking with them a Zenith portable radio belonging to Kenyon, a pair of binoculars belonging to Herb, and less than $50 in cash which would be the equivalent of approximately $480 in 2022. They never found a safe. Author, Truman Capote, learned of the quadruple murder before the killers were captured. Accompanied by his childhood friend and fellow author, Harper Lee, he traveled to Kansas to write about the crime. Together, they interviewed local residents and investigators assigned to the case and took thousands of pages of notes. Capote ultimately spent six years working on his book. When finally published in 1966, In Cold Blood, was an instant success and is regarded by critics as a pioneering work in the true crime genre. Smith and Hickok were arrested in Las Vegas, Nevada about six weeks after the murders. They were found guilty of the murders and sentenced to death. On April 14, 1965, they both were hanged at the Kansas State Prison near Lansing, just north of Kansas City. Hickok was executed first and Smith followed shortly afterward. Please like and subscribe for more.